Do you want to add a really sweet looking gold bar to your Twitch stream so you can get more followers, viewers, and donations? I'm super lazy and I don't like spending much money on things, so I'll be showing you a free and easy way to set this up. So if you don't mind dropping a quick like on the video to help other streamers find this video, let's get started. We're going to be using a free tool called OwnPro, so I'll leave this linked in the description down below. That way you make sure you're at the right place. So once you're on OwnPro, you're going to go and sign up in the top right corner, or you can click join for free. They both do the same thing. I've already connected in my Twitch account, so I'm going to click log in. Once you've logged in, we're going to navigate to the left-hand side where it says tools, and then from here, it'll bring us to the goal bars page. So as you can see, they have a bunch of different templates for us that we can use here, but we're going to go to click the create goal in the top right corner, and it'll give us even more options. So the first part, we have to decide what kind of goal do we want. Do we want a follower goal, a sub goal, a bit goal, or a donation goal? I'm going to use a follower goal just to keep it easy. Next, you can add your goal title. So what is the goal for? Let's just say we'll do a subathon when we hit a certain amount of followers. So I type in subathon. Now we can choose the style of our goal bar to see what it looks like. They have a bunch of different options here for you, so you can choose between these. I personally really like the clean neon, but I'm also a big horror fan, as most of you guys know. We play horror games on our Twitch channel, and I also make music for horror video games like the Mortuary Assistant and Mass of Deception, so check those out. So personally, I'm going to go with the ghost option, but you can scroll through and see there's plenty of different options that you can choose from. So once you've chosen the one that you want, you can click this little icon where it says select goal bar style. Now you can click on style settings and then edit. So that way you can edit it to the way that you want. You have the little goal bar preview here and there's a few things that you can change. You can change the layout to normal, which has the text on top and bottom, or you can do condensed, which has the text in the middle or my personal favorite centered. So the centered option has all of your text in the middle and then it has your progress next to it, which is easily legible and readable. So I'm gonna go with centered for this option. Then you can choose your font style. So you can choose between different fonts if you would like. I'm just gonna use the first one, but you can experiment with that one if you want. Then you can change the title and date color, so it'll change what color the text is. Then you can choose the color of the bar, so instead of this being a gray, then you can change it to a blue or a red. But honestly, I like all of the default settings for this. I think it looks nice and clean. And you can change the other colors if you'd like. But once you've gotten it to look how you want it to, you can click save in the top right. Then we can continue down, and it'll ask us for the goal amount. So in this case, how many followers do we want before the bar is filled? I'm just gonna say 25 followers, and then the goal end date. Let's just make it the end of July. And then once you've chosen your date and time, you can click out of that. And now we have all of our information filled in here. So we can click save and publish in the top right corner. And then it says your goal bar was successfully created and it prompts you with the copy widget URL. And you can use this with OBS Studio, Twitch Studio, Streamlabs OBS, any kind of streaming software, because we're going to add this as a browser source. So make sure to click right here and it will copy the widget URL as it shows in the bottom right hand corner. Don't show this to anybody, by the way, otherwise they'll be able to use it. Now you can open up your streaming software. In this case, we'll use OBS Studio. So I've opened a brand new instance of OBS Studio. We'll go to add a new source and then we'll go and click browser source. Now we can call this goal bar if you would like just to know what it is. Hit OK. And then now this URL spot right here, we can delete the old one and then you're going to paste the URL widget that you just got. I'm not going to show mine because I don't want you guys controlling it. So I'm going to paste it and then click OK. I'll give this a few seconds for it to boot up. And now you can see it has popped on our screen right here. It has the goal bar that we just created in Owned Pro, and it's got the little spooky ghosts, and it's about seven out of 25. So then once this hits 25, it'll be full, and then you would have to do whatever you said on there. So in this case, we do a subathon. Own Pro has a bunch of other tools and free overlays that you can use. So watch this video below me. It'll show you how to use the free overlays and get started with it. Comment Spooky Gang if you made it to the end of the video, and I'll see you in the next one.